years because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah, I think we're already on the path to recovery. And you know, don't forget that it was not just the pandemic, but also the Russia-Ukraine yeah. war, because that raised the prices for energy yeah. and all of that. I think what we're seeing is that the world is starting to deal with those issues. And uh, this year, as an example, oil prices are now down from relative to last year. Gas price, natural gas prices are down. So all of those things are going to help the people who, for whom energy is a big part of their uh, overall, you know, pocketbook cost. So I'm very optimistic that in the next, uh, you know, two to three years, we will see. I think we have this confidence even next year we will see right. much more growth in investments and deployment of uh, all the kind of technologies. For Asian countries uh, predominantly, uh, which consists predominantly of developing nations, emerging economies, do you think uh, a stronger push towards renewables will inevitably slow economic growth? No, actually this is, you know, I, and I was on a panel first day and I mentioned this that, look, uh, let's be clear, renewables meaning solar and wind are very cheap. So if you are any kind of country, you know, and particularly in Asia, where electricity is, you know, we need a lot of demand for this. Just deploy renewables as fast as you can. There's the perception is somehow it will slow down industrialization and urbanization, which is much needed in this part of the world. Well, okay, so keep in mind that, you know, when we say uh, urbanization, there are different dimensions, different types of energy, right? right? For transportation, which is a big part of urbanization, we are going to need oil, right? That's the fuel. It's not going to be renewable energy. So, yes, we need oil. For power, we will need natural gas, and if we can more use more gas than less coal, that would be great. And let's do as much renewables as possible. Last thing I would say is that there's a lot of room, low-hanging fruit for energy efficiency. You know, every dollar of energy we uh, make, you know, use up, it's a dollar in the pocket of the, uh, of the producer, and it saves money for the consumer. So I think those are the kind of levers, as I call low-hanging fruit, which should be uh, deployed yeah. at scale as fast as possible. Yeah. So you